Okay, so what happens to global variables, right? So let's let's investigate that piece here. So let me commit this. Um, Okay, so notice all our functions are void functions. We're not returning values, and that's okay. Like we're just trying to understand how uh, local variables and uh, parameters work. So let's go up here. And uh, Python has the concept of a global constant. Well, they say global constant, but we can change the values. <laughs> In uh, other languages, you can't change the values. Uh, so what we want to look at is how does how can we use uh, globals in <coughs> functions right so uh, what do we put here I'll, I'll just name it uh, whatever global integer value 10 okay so that should, that should tell us that uh, this variable is available to every function that's in here meaning we should be able to uh, use it and maybe we're like okay well let's try it let me use print global int global int global int global int so notice it's like by now you know that if you don't see any squigglies or anything like that, it's kind of like, well, the syntax is okay. Uh, and then we can try to run it to see what happens, right? So uh, let me uh, go here and we'll just do the hello world. We should see uh, 100 uh, as the last output. So we go here and we run it and notice here we have 100. So we go back and look at this piece we said hello world and then we're like here oh by the way like uh, display the value of global int how does this work python looks at statements prior to print global int and it's like oh i didn't find global int let me look outside <clears throat> and it finds global int and it's like okay there's your 100 value that's how it works like in the code but how does it work in our diagram like in memory right so Let's go back and uh, look at the original diagram I wrote today, and it's like stack. This is what we've been working with throughout the lecture today. We've not touched uh, free store. We've not touched the code uh, because I don't want to complicate the examples, right? But now notice here we have a global block of memory too. So I think uh, Elena, right? She was asking, well, what happens with global variables? So now we know it. Like, oh, global variables are stored in a different memory. And functions, when they can find the variable within their local scope, they go and look at this global memory to see if, by chance, there's a variable named x or whatever. In our case, it was what global int. It found it and it used it, right? So let's uh, diagram that piece. So we go here. <clears throat> I'm just interested in this piece here. So we go here, and uh, we go to stack memory. And uh, stack, let's assume, uh, so we did call main, right? So main gets called, and then hello world gets called, it gets loaded. As soon as hello world uh, runs, well, actually, that's not what I want to say. Sorry, what's the name of the file? As soon as void function uh, is interpreted by Python and that stuff's loaded onto memory, it runs in, uh, across this declaration from global in. You go, oh, that's a global variable. So then, somewhere in other memory, right? Global memory. 
Python creates that uh, global int spot and uh, I think I said value to 100 right so when hello world uh, runs notice hello world doesn't have any parameters it doesn't have any local variables so nothing is loaded here no variables in the memory that's given to hello world so it doesn't find global int but then it goes and scans global memory and it finds 100 so that's uh, how Python is able to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna print the value 100. So now you can see why it's available to all the functions, right? It's not created in the scope of the function, it's creating a special block of memory for global variables. That's why all the functions will have access to, to this global variable, as long as uh, it's in memory, right? Then we should be able to access it. Questions here? I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's say you were to, instead of, say, print hello world first, you do print global int first, and then you do print hello world. Will it still print hello world first because it's within that function, and then it'll pull um, okay, okay, outside okay. of it? Okay, I got lost, sorry. So, where do I put, put the second print? <laughs> So, like, let's just say you switch them. Like, oh, you put print one. global int first, and then you put print hello world. Mm -hmm. Which one will print first? Because the global int is outside of the function. No, it'll it'll. This one, this statement runs first, and this one okay. will print first. Right, so, so it will look outside of the code mm -hmm. um, like because this. it says to print it first. Yeah, it's here, and it's like oh. There's nothing to, there's, I mean, I can't find anything in global. So then it's like, I mean, in uh, Hello World. So it's like, oh, let me look outside. Uh, make sure there's not, uh, make sure there's global int and global memory, right? So let me go to main. Uh, let me clear this. Well, actually, I can run it, right? So let me run it <coughs> and notice it, it still prints 100. For, and it prints 100 first and then Hello World second. So, this statement runs first so it will print first this statement runs second so it'll print second yeah. and all the other functions will also display 100 right. and we're like well really show me right let's do one more function just to make sure so let's run it all right so notice 100 is the last output. If we go back here, it's the last output because we made it the last print statement in display number. Um, so what's going to display 100 or 1000 or will the program crash wouldn't it be 100 because it reads it first any other answers doesn't 1000 replace 100 because 1000 yeah. right okay yeah so so let's let's run this right because notice what it says here global constants right like to me a constant is a value that, that doesn't change or can't be changed so so let's see here let's run over here 1000 right so I, I purposely did this to show you that it's not a true const, constant like accidentally you can go and or any other developer can change the value Usually, these ones are used like for federal tax rate, state tax rate, or some number that shouldn't change. But in Python, it's the honor system. Have the same, or, uh, they have the same name, and then like one's under the other. Yeah. Down, like, okay, uh, say again, sorry. Uh, is that because uh, it comes like a second on the list? Yeah, well, here we create the global in variable, here we overwrite it. But like, isn't a const a constant like something that shouldn't change, right? So my point here is not to to 
confuse students is just to drill the point home that it's like, oh, so it's just kind of like the honor system. So it's the last um, constant that you write that will override everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in Java and C Sharp, C++, a constant variable cannot be changed. Like this statement here would be generating an error in those other languages. In Python, they decided to, to go this route. So be careful. Well, um, let me do this. Uh, global int equals 5000. Oh, what version of Python is this? Let me run it. Because uh, clear, oops. Clear and hello world. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so we go here. So we have global in here and global in here over into a thousand, but then here I say global int and then I print and it prints what? 5,000. And then what else are we doing here? Display number. So we have display number. I say global int and it displays a thousand. So what kind of variable is this one? local right so uh, created a new local variable so even though it seems that we're like using this one and we're just trying to change the value we're not it's kind of like oh, what what happened here right so what's the keyword that we maybe we should diagram this one right to avoid any confusion let's see we got time yeah we got time so uh, well actually uh, I'll figure out a name later let me just go here and we're like hey, what happened what happened here like we go here we have that <coughs> And let's quickly uh, diagram this piece here. So we have a stack, and then here we have global memory, right? Uh, global. So we have a global int here. Uh, first value 100 and then value 1000. So I'll just put 1000 here, okay? So 1000. It was 100, but then we overwrote it. And then we have this statement here. So main gets loaded. Main gets loaded. Hello world gets loaded. And uh, it has its own global int variable, local variable with value 5000. So notice they're different different memory boxes. Questions here? There should be a question. How do we change the value of a global within the function? Right? Or can we change it? Let's go back. Um, go here. You can't change it. Well, we, we, we were able to change it here. We, it was originally 100. And then we're like, you know what? Make it 1,000 instead. Python's like, OK. But now we're like. I mean, uh, you can't change it in a. Uh, in here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. What is it use? Global? Or is it global? Um, 
What's the keyword? What is it saying here? Statement must be separated by new lines or semicolon. Okay, let me get the syntax. Uh, it's here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is the correct way, but we have to say uh, global and then global int, right? So it's kind of like we have to break it down into two statements. We want to override the global, <laughs> global int variable. And here we, uh, let me eliminate this now. We, uh, we change it. Is there cases where like this would actually happen and you would need to do all of this? Or like, could you just delete the code? <laughs> Python thinks there's cases for this. That's why they made it available, right? I personally like I don't have anything against Python. They're like a lot Python creators. They're a lot smarter than I am. But like to me, it's kind of like what, you know? Let's run it. See what happens, right? So then we should have like this should be five thousand, and we should have two five thousands as opposed to one five thousand and one one thousand down here, right? So let's see here. Now we have notice we changed the global variable so it's I mean it's in the Python language we have to be aware of it <clears throat> I mean you don't want to go into like a place where they use Python and then you see this code is kind of like what what is this stuff right now at least you have a general idea that you can mess with your program I mean, to me, it's like, I mean, if you call them global constants, then don't let programmers change it. But they must have a very good reason for letting programmers change it, right? Questions here? Global variables, right? So. Maybe we put a question mark there, right? Like global constant, global constant variables. They're not really con constant, so commit. Yes, save changes. Okay. Okay, so stop.